you're not going to be ultra conservative with your expansion plans for Spencer's uh, because of your reluctance to take on debt even going forward? We won't be ultra conservative with any of our expansion plans. There are significant cash flows now. We are very lowly gear, geared as a group. And as each of our companies, uh, excepting power, which is capital intensive, all our companies have no long-term debt at all. Some of them don't even have working capital debt. Some of them do. And we have significant cash flows now. So the ability to actually invest for growth should be fairly easy. Now, it's interesting you mention all this, Sanjeev, because you know, you're getting into another pond, which is, requires deep pockets, because you are up with some of the biggest players in the country, which is your consumer goods business, whether it's foods with 2EM or your hair care and skin care products. You know, in your own city, ITC has been trying to create this FMCG enterprise with varying degrees of success for a few years now. Uh, and, you know, it requires a lot of financial muscle and staying power. Uh, you're sure, given your philosophy of not extending yourself on the balance sheet front, that you're up for this game? If I wasn't confident, I wouldn't have been in it. Uh, and at the end of the day, it's only time that's going to prove whether I'm right or not. Uh, whatever I may say may sound not so convincing to you, so I'm not even going to try and explain that. But if I put my bets on this, I've done it with the conviction that we will succeed. Two Yam in this very short period has created a market for healthy Western snacks. It's a market which did not exist in India. It's become the preferred brand for healthy snacking now. Naturally, which is our brand for uh, personal care, has just been launched. It's been launched in two cities so far, Bangalore and NCR. No advertising, but incredible amount of repeat business. Absolutely incredible. It's overwhelming. Early days, long way to go. But the beginnings are very good. Mm. Yes, we know we're gonna lose money. You know, when you look at a power plant, you look at a power project, you look at 5,000, 10,000 crores of investment, which involves 3,000, 4,000 crores of equity. 3,000, 4,000 crores is all that I need to fund 10 years of losses in FMCG. So, you know, it's not that big a deal in the context. When you have cash flows of 5,500 crores, you're looking at funding 300 or 400 crores or 250 crores of losses. It's not a big deal. Is that the same thought process which drove you to the... Uh, towards the IPL Lucknow franchise, which in the near term will not make a lot of money for you. Maybe it will take a decade or so, but eventually you see it working out? You know, I've said this on more occasions than one in the past. I had a very different way of looking at the IPL. I do believe this is a huge value creation opportunity, first point. And in five to seven years, I expect these franchises to be valued at two billion at least. Two, look at the investment I'm making. And the economics have changed for the better since the time I won the bid and today, because it appears the broadcast rights will go at significantly higher sums than was planned or anticipated in those days. So as it stands, my investment in year one will be 500 crores. My investment from years two to year six will be 250 crores a year. And thereafter, there is no further investment. So less than 2000 crores for an IPL franchise. Chennai Super Kings is already valued at 7,600 crores. I think the math is there for anyone to see. So it was a hard business decision, right, uh, Sanjeev? Because, you know, with these Absolutely. things, you never know what the line is between uh, what it, being a business this call or being a trophy that you're acquiring for other reasons. I mean, businessmen have been known to do that. But you thought of it as a pure business opportunity. You know, you look at trophies and you look at all these things impressing you and uh, vanity investments. 
when you are 25 and 30 when you are 60 i mean only fools look at uh, vanity for investments i mean i certainly don't think i am in that category well i'll come back and talk about 25 and 30 about your children because they should be they would be listening to you saying all these things and i know it's not intended for them but i want to spend a minute on this power business the thousands of crores of investment that you were just talking about uh, how do you regard that business because you know for a lot of people this i'm talking about generation now the your plants in haldia and chandrapur the thermal power plants it seems for a lot of investors like yesterday's business uh, polluting coal and the world is moving on to something else altogether i mean do you do you worry that you are stuck in a business where the environmental winds are blowing too heavily against you i had actually stopped investing in thermal power generation 5 years ago and i am on record at our agm 5 years ago saying that we will not invest in thermal power generation capacity what we've already started or what we've invested remains obviously but we will not invest in any additional capacity 